Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make your working drip tree in Creo or Wildfire Pro E series as a default working drip tree. Every time you turn on your toy software, you do not need to set up that working drip tree every time. So this procedure once done, you always get to the correct folder in terms of working directory. So let's get started how it's done. First of all, I will show you that how we manually set up working directory. So I will start up my Creo parameter 3.0. As we can see here in the left ribbon, there is a working retreat symbol. So we will go to that and or we can select working retreat from here also. So select working retreat using that. We will navigate to our desired folder where we want it to work. So I will use this folder as working directory. Clicking OK. So in this way our working directory is set it up. So we can see here in working directory navigation we found our folder in the right. But when I close the software and turn on the Creo once again it will or again ask for the desired working directory it means it will not be set set in this or required folder rather than that it will bring us to the default C drive folder so to get rid of this thing what we can do is Just copy the path of your working directory, clicking over the taskbar over here and copy that link. Right, and then right click on the launch icon of your Creo and create another shortcut. So you got another icon for your Creo software. Now go to its property and here in the start in space you can see the default C drive folder that's a document which is default uh, working directory while installing the Creo software. So we need to paste our Desired location for the working directory and then press apply and ok. So when we start using this shortcut, we'll always start with a default working directory as our required folder. As you can see here, when I click working directory here, it will show up the details Creo workspace as my working directory which we have already set so this is how we can do get rid of uh, setting working directory each time so this is it for now thanks for watching the video please stay tuned for more informative videos on Creo and Pro. Thank you.